Hey, I'm Mac, and we're back with Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. What's going on here? Well, I'm in the middle of a mission. Uh, this is the first time I've done this. I'm not starting in the main menu. Uh, I've actually skipped ahead a little bit. Playing, um, well, I'm just like a few turns into this mission, and it's just a standard mission, nothing too special. It's just to uh, eliminate all seed carriers. And uh, I have an extra challenge, which is to win the mission of only three units, which is why you see me here with my two Justicars and my Interceptor. Yes, I thought, uh, hey, might be a decent challenge to go for. Yeah, you know, I was on the ship before. Uh, there, were n there was no uh, conversations with my crewmates. And... Um, Nothing too much going on with research and ship repairs. So yeah, I'm just trying out this uh, mission, trying to do it with three Grey Knights only. So let's see how it goes. So far so good though. We don't know... The enemy has not revealed itself yet in this section of the map. So I'm actually going to move Mithrak up ahead a little bit not too far though not too far they have not shown themselves yet have they unleash me unleash I shall in a moment in a moment What is your video? Oh, okay, so no That's one wants to show themselves yet. Perhaps I'll move ahead just a little bit further. Nothing. Let's move it. Inch forward yet ever more. Okay, no one's moving, eh? In that case. Uh. Yeah, sure. 60% on the bloom. That was quick. Well, I did use a lot of, uh. Force enhanced uh, attacks earlier. It's bound to happen. Okay. So you ought to be... How do I control the zoom again? I always forget how to control the zoom. Uh, damn it. Anyway, the zoom is very ineffectual in this game anyway. Oh, they're all the way over here? Seriously? I don't want to get tricked into just moving my guys ahead super quick. So you go through the door instead? Why don't we do that? I, this would be taking a long way. All right. So let's uh let's cut across. I'm gonna move all my dudes first. Put on to position. What is your will? Can I just stack up on the door? Yeah. Oh shit. So there are guys coming from the right direction. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, in that case... I don't know, should I just engage? If I go up the stairs to engage him here... I got I got this massive doorway. Jesus cover. I go through the doorway here. I've got some decent cover as well. What do the icons mean again? I think this is like more of like a big enemy. And these are just like uh minions. I believe so. Oh wait, 
Oh, okay, it's the seed carrier. Oh, yeah, it's enemy patrol. Oh, I see in the bottom right corner now. It's an enemy patrol versus a seed carrier. Got it. Well, let's go for the seed carrier. I already stacked up at the door, so why the hell not, right? Kick the door down first. Thank you, Ulrich. It's down to one. One AP. It gives me a chance to duck behind full cover here. Perfect. And then uh, I only have one AP on this guy. He can probably just get around the corner. Oh shoot! There, there, the enemy patrol is just getting caught up already. Okay, that's kind of. Um, it's a little bit uh, misleading. Okay, from now on, if I see the green circles with the arrows, uh, holy crap, there's so many enemies. Okay, so they both groups have revealed themselves. There's a crap load of enemies. I kind of regret, um, <laughs> I kind of regret taking only three men out to this fight. Well, since they revealed themselves, uh, I get my AP refreshed. A lot of ranged enemies. Yeah, let's kind of, uh, kind of like, make my stand in this area. No point trying to come up the stairs at this. At, yeah, right now it seems a little uh, ill-advised. Okay. What is your will? My interceptor should not be uh, exposed. So actually, I probably want to move Ulrich a little bit ahead here. And then I want to move... My interceptor here. It's gonna use two AP, I and I will get uh, Mithrak out of harm's way. Put him under full cover over here. Yes, Crassus. Crassus. Can I take a shot on anyone? Yeah, I can take a shot on that guy. It's not gonna do much damage. I'm waiting until they come down here. I can blow up this thing. Oh, there's a sea carrier. Interesting. He is a range enemy, so I would need to. If I want the seed, and I want to guarantee getting it, I have to melee him. But for now, I'll just shoot him a little bit. How's that? If I side bolt him, he'll be really weak. I'll just do this for now. Chunky. I maybe want to... I don't want to set any uh, overwatch, actually. Oh, this, this is a new ability I have. Psychic support. Target a knight at any range to transfer all of this knight's armor for one turn. Ignores cover. So he can give his armor to somebody else at any range. That's kind of crazy. Okay. I do want to do overwatch through the door. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Yeah, right here. Ready 
They do have some melee enemies over on that side. I may want to do the same, but you yeah, can't aim over the high cover. So I could just have him cover his buddy. Alright, in case they do close the distance here. I will hold them here. Yeah, then we can just end the turn actually. Or I could even just uh do the uh, psychic boon. Why not? It's free. Charge! Aegis shield. That's right. Die, abomination! Time bomb. Oh, those are annoying. Charge! Ah, shoot. It's better off just uh, staying in cover, right? We'll see if anyone falls into my overwatch, though. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, no. All right. So, where's the seed carrier? Oh, there he is. I can get to him. What is your will? Well, first you gotta move out of there. Okay, so, uh... Olwyn here has the... Servo Skull to do a little bit of healing in a pinch. Since we didn't bring an apothecary with us this this, this time. Okay, who's gonna snatch the uh, seed carrier? I forgot to bring grenades on his mission. That would have been helpful. Truly, that was my mistake. He can, this guy can take out two in one turn. Yes, Commander. He can take out possibly two. I am here to serve. All right, let's go for it. This is gonna be a two AP kill, looks like. And I like the movement path. See here, I think the movement path is good. Let's go, I don't even need to use the force strike. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit, the reinforcements are coming early because I uh, took the took the seed. Damn. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. Okay. So, one, there's uh, coming there, and there's one back here. So, I think staying here is still my best bet. Yeah, I shouldn't really move too far from this area. Just gonna use the cover to my advantage. Now, the question is should I just take out. This guy's probably more dangerous than this guy, right? This is a... Uh, oh, this guy is also a... Uh, cultist. Cultist, cultist. Okay. This is a cultist as well. Yeah. I'm worried about this guy. The uh, pox walk, loaded pox walker. Okay, let me move uh, Olwen first. Oh, he's not gonna kill him? Seriously? Uh, 
let's do a stun, I guess. Hmm. Should I just fish him off? Maybe we'll fish him off. I can probably kill him with one strike. But let's see what uh, Mithrak can do. Mithrak can do some work right now. He's taking down these, uh, you know, these smaller guys. So. <laughs> we are the hammer indeed. Probably want to put him under cover here. But before I do that, finish this guy off. Bye bye. <laughs> Wait, uh, Ulrich's probably gonna take a bit of damage on the enemy turn. I'll move him under cover here. I thought about using the uh, Aegis shield on Mithrak, but. Uh, well, it just destroyed that cover entirely. He didn't do auto attack. Right, I gotta get back under cover here. What wound sustained? Oh. That's annoying. Jeez. How many turns do I need to hold out for? Anyway. Oh no. Oh. Plus 50% resistance. Wonderful. That's just great. That's just great. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the guy with the overwatch. Yeah, these guys are kind of pinned down, so let me let me take care of this boyo. Force strike the fool. <laughs> Apparently not. Can't really, uh. Again, yeah, I'll probably have to move this guy just around the corner. So at least he's not standing in the doorway for uh, to be shot at by the reinforcements. But uh, before I do that, I'm gonna move. Move his friends here. Ulrich first, sure. Hmm. We don't want to uh, kill this guy and be in range when he dies because he explodes. When reduced to zero HP or mutated, Bullet Pogs Walker explodes over area three. Afflict plagued 100%, two turns, all Pogs Walkers in area gain plus two max HP. Yeah, it's, that's, that's not good news. We can soften him up. Your orders? Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Your we can orders? soften him up a bit. Just a just a touch. Just a touch. <laughs> And just retreat. Oh, he'll get hit. If I try to re if I try to retreat move, he'll get hit. Okay. That I forgot about that. Oh. 
Oops. He'll also get hit. They're both engaged with them, so they'll both get hit in the back. Ugh. That's annoying. Unleash me. If I stand there, it's dangerous. There's a two AP move right here. Yeah, the cover got blown out, which really sucks. And Ulrich's actually pretty badly hurt. The idea is that I wanted to just shoot this guy and kill him from range. Uh, let's just... How many points do I lose? How many hit points do I lose? Uh, two hit points, it looks like. So, uh, Mithrax is no longer engaged with the Blood of Poxwalker, so he can actually move away. This is gonna be a 2 AP move. So, both of these are 2 AP moves, but if I. Let's just get some distance. Get some distance. Still doesn't kill him. Sucks. But, uh... Extra damage. Doesn't hurt. Damn it. He's doing Overwatch. Damn it. Oh shit, he just blew up on us. He blew up on us anyway. Yeah, I'm taking pummeling. Oh, he can go through the window? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Press fire. Jeez. These guys actually use pretty good tactics. Jeez, man. I am really pinned down here. How many more turns do I need to hold out for? Yeah, what's my uh, what's my timer here? <laughs> what is my timer here? So I got, I'm being overwatched on. I'm being suppressive fired on. This was a bad mission to go in with three, three grenades. Definitely. I have regrets. May as well use this on on my friend over here who's out in the open. Give him uh, one armor, or all of, transfer all of this knight's armor for one turn. Oh no, no, he he needs the armor though. <laughs> I need the armor. 
Need to do a warp charge. Can I shoot anyone? I can indeed. Looks like I'll do more damage on this guy. Can kill him outright. Oh, I still got one AP. It's dope. Oops. Take care of business, you know? Take care of business. So what happens when I'm being suppressed? Like, I have my accuracy decreased and my armor is compromised, stuff like that. Can I move? Kill myself first. How's that? Seems like a good move. Yeah. Yeah. You got two. Okay, so that didn't use any actions. This is a one-time thing. Didn't use any AP. That's 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 good shit, actually. Is this another blood pox? It is another blood pox walker, okay. I haven't been engaged yet. Oh, I have actually. Targets acquired. Oh, I just shot him. That works. Two more a uh, AP, so let me just. Just like bust up this guy. How much damage can I do though? Hey, this much damage versus this much damage. Shooting him does the same amount of damage as the melee, it seems, right? Seems like it. Every time I use a force strike, it adds five percent to the bloom meter. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's I got a crit. So this is this is a this fortunate. Well, I'm definitely going to um, disable their pestilential explosion. I cut off its head. This is sick, man. Alright, let's finish him off. God, me straight. So, two AP move. Instead of just getting pinned down. I'm just trying to like do some damage, right? But there's like four guys here. I can only kill two, and I'll be just like sitting a sitting duck. After that, I'm gonna take some damage if I move. But this is better to move. Yeah. Oh no. The play got him. Can I 
Can I get uh, teleported out yet, or what? Damn it. Pathetic. Oh no. Still in the fight. Oh my goodness, he can reach that far? With that with that gun? Oh no. Yeah, that's not looking good at all. Damn it. Oh jeez. Could you have done that like one turn sooner, maybe? God. I made it out. Let's lick our wounds and see. Uh, oh gosh, was it worth it? Was it worth it to get the extra requisition? Three extra requisition, you know. But uh, I don't know how long my uh, two green eggs are gonna be out for. Look at them; they're, they're in rough shape. Access the armory. So we get a rank two gray knight apothecary. If we wish. Or we can get what is this? I'm getting a piece of armor. Warp warp scourge. It's better armor, but it's not quite Terminator armor. That's from what I gather. This unit does not increase warp surge when using psychic ability. That's that's nice. I like that. What else do we have here? Crack grenade tier one. Target a blast attack at range ten over area one to deal three damage. Armor break two. Well, let's get another apothecary. Always got to fill up the bench. It's useful. And let's get one of these warp scourge armors. And what the hell? We'll get a crack grenade. Let's get it all. Let's get it all. Yes. Critically wounded. Oh no. Their injuries as long as they have at least one resilience remaining. They will be restored to active duty once they have recovered in the apothecary. Damn. Both of them are quickly wounded. So I guess uh, resilience is sort of like their uh, it's their version of having like nine lives, if they only have like two lives, maybe, right? Let's uh, do the promotion on Mithrak here. He did well. He did well. Oh, what do I want to go with Mithrak? Does it make him tougher? Oh, he's already tougher. Uh, yeah, I already have the turning armor. Or make him more of a shooter guy. Great cyborg damage. I can make him more of a range fighter just for a change. Upgrade the crit. Sure. Let's try that. Just for a change, you know. Oh, he has light wounds himself. 
Damn. Wait, wait, wait. So, Ulrich takes 18 days to recover from his critical wounds, but then Mithrak takes 25 days to recover from light wounds. How does that make sense? That was rough. That was rough. If we look at my barracks, <laughs> it's not looking good for the roster. Only three completely healthy Grey Knights, right? Out of eight. No change in uh, repair status or research status. I just had to go for the uh, the seed. Twenty five days to go. We just need one more day for the augurium. <laughs> I think we're just about to get that when we uh, land on the planet for the mission. So I think I will just, hey, we're not gonna make it to the final mission over here. It's not enough time. So I'll just pass, I'll just advance time. Get the uh, repairs done. Start a new project. And what shall it be? So I could definitely get more barracks, plus four capacity, plus one recruit rank. Meditation chamber. You may have had ample opportunity for combat in this campaign, but Brother Ektar tells me the experience can be properly integrated only through lengthy medi meditation in an appropriately prepared chamber. A strange notion, but no doubt he is correct. So he gives guys more XP. Uh, what does this do? Commune of the Fallen with a functional preservation facility. We have had no choice but to harvest the gene seed of any knights whose injuries surpass the limits of the Apothecarian. The stasis chamber will allow them to be interned so our brothers can learn from their wisdom. Right. <laughs> and then we already got the Augurium built. Oh, there's that upgrade. It's the Augurium, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's, uh, what? I don't have enough servitors for some of these higher end uh, repairs, eh? I have no, I have to like read a guide to figure out what the best research is not the best research but the best uh facility to do repairs on first speeding up our ship seems like a good investment seems that it takes forever to get to uh the mission locations so i'm considering the warp drive one And if we go over to this section, we have void shields. So the edict gets attacked as well. When does that happen? There's ship to ship combat in this game since when? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I feel like I shouldn't have to worry about the ship to ship combat yet. Where I have not ever heard of ship to ship combat in this game. Of the reviews that I've watched or read, I don't ever remember seeing anything about ship to ship combat. This is this is a bit of a surprise. I hope this just means quicker healing. Because, uh, yeah, the way they ex like commune with the Fallen, like, what does that mean gameplay-wise? You know, it's a bit too steeped in lore and theme and not enough, like, transparency into, like, what it does for gameplay. Choices, choices, choices. Twenty-four days through the warp drive. Twelve days through the barracks. Twelve days to do the stasis chamber. I gotta think the stasis chamber. Okay, it's not until we get to this regeneration unit one that we do wound recovery speed. So that's uh okay. Yeah, they want to give you quicker healing that early in the game. Figures. Shit. Okay, let's do barracks then. What the hell? Let's do it. <sighs> Let us talk over what troubles you, brother. Yeah, no one has anything new to say. We have restored functionality to the Augurium. Yes. That should review our prognostic acquire. Select a tune button? Where the hell is that? Oh, just like X? Just hit X on this screen, okay. When prognosticers are attuned to a system, they will extend the mission timer in all adjacent systems. Okay, that's cool. I'm attuned. Intervention required? Say what? Commander, my research is being hampered by faulty terminals in the Libris. I have submitted multiple unanswered maintenance requests to the Dominus. A detestably inconvenient process, I might add. Analysis indicates Libra's terminals are operating at 2% of our minimum operational thresholds. Preliminary assessment determined the malfunction originated from direct physical trauma. The Inquisitor was informed. You accused me of sabotaging my own equipment. Evidence. Ongoing correspondence has included escalating overtures on violence against my acolytes. I will do far worse than that if this does not get resolved soon. Prepare to turn out once. This is like a delay my constructions. Assign servitors to repair the terminal. You will lose four servitors. Request denied Inquisitor. Ooh. And what gameplay impact does that have? Hmm? I'm already kind of. I'm getting low on servitors, possibly. I just. Uh, uh, let's just use the servitors for now. Fine, but they better not damage it further. Oh, shut up. Okay, let's advance time some more. Let's pause time for a sec. How my my uh, what you call it? My grenades. How are they healing? Oh, doing pretty good. Oh, I see. So like, eight days to get out of the critical wound state. Then they probably have to go through a light wounds recovery phase, right? That's gotta be it. 
Damn. Oh, do I have to? I have to manually attune. Okay, like how? Should I do it now or later? <laughs> right. Um, I'm not sure at all, actually. Should I just wait until I get the uh, distress signals? Maybe I should. Uh, so let's just keep advancing time. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the last line there, as per standard chapter regime, all potential comforts have been removed. <laughs> That's their new project. At least with this with this game, you don't really have to worry about money. Money is not the issue. It's just like servitors and time, I suppose, and the opportunity costs, of course. Um, plasma reactors. Yeah, I need like way more servitors. I'm done at seven. Thanks to uh, Inquisitor Vakir, Vakir. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Are we going to research the warp drive next, maybe? Or... Yeah, not the ship-to-ship -ship stuff yet. Yeah, let's, let's start, start buffing up the apothecary in, actually. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to save to come back from the mission. Let's all right, this one. Do ship five. That's advanced time. Oh, here we go. Bloom spawn detected three new missions. So it's time to attune. I'm right next to uh So I attuned here. We do in the middle. Reduce the corruption level. Let's try again here. What if I chose this node? I think this one's the better. So try that tuning. Adds three days to the deadline. Oh, this doesn't really help me for. Hmm. I don't have to do it right away, do I? I don't think so. Their faith ever remains their ages, Commander. Okay, so augmentics. After combat, a quickly winded knight is fitted with an augmetic. Augmetics have no negative effect, but if your apothecary and surgical unit is upgraded, they will give additional combat bonuses. So what do you get in soul? Commander, I'm pleased to report that Brother Ulrich Iolanthus has recovered from his critical wounds and can return to combat duty. Due to his injury, we needed to install the aug augmetic joint reinforcement and the chief apothecary estimates he will require 42 days to recover to full strength. 
This look magic has no effect on the knight's performance and will not appear in their ability loadout. Damn. We have arrived. All right, so. Give it a quick save here. That's going to do it for this short little episode. This has been episode 5 of my uh, long play series of Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I shall return very soon with the next installment where I will jump into this next mission and uh, hopefully not get any of my guys critically wounded anymore. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.